Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Michaela. So for today's video, I'm going to be adding some spreads to my bullet journal. These spreads are going to be like cleaning trackers, organizational trackers, that kind of thing, just to help me stay a little bit more organized in my life. Let's just jump right into this video. So today I will be using a pointed pen with this Hunt 101 nib as well as some Sumi ink and some watercolors and a couple of markers. I pretty much wanted to keep these like very clean and simple. So the first page that I have here is my when did I last page. I've seen a, quite a few people um, actually have this page in their bullet journals and I've never actually done this page before so I wanted to try it out this year because I think it's like a handy place to just keep like the chores or the things that need to be tracked but not necessarily something that needs to be tracked daily. So I'm setting mine up for like a quarterly system kind of thing. Um, but yeah, this is what this looks like and again, I'm just using my pointed pen to do the calligraphy for all the titles i'm gonna keep the titles pretty much the same um, kind of font um, i just recently took this calligraphy class with suzanne cunningham where she taught the imperial script and i'm still practicing <laughs> i'm still practicing i mean mine is not as good as queen suzanne's but if i'm being honest this font is like really fun to do it's just a little bit tricky because it's like a mix between modern and like a traditional more classic font anyway I, I just plan to practice this a little bit more but for these spreads that i'm using today i will be using this imperial font for all of the headers So for the when did you last page, I chose eight items that I wanted to track and then I made eight boxes for them and I put four lines next to each box to track the quarterly dates for when I last did that task. So the eight tasks I decided to track here were when did I last change my toothbrush, get an oil change, do a digital cleanse, change the air filters, clean my car, wash the windows, deep clean the appliances, and test the fire alarms. So I'm going to use this next page to track our monthly cleaning tasks that we have to do. And I went ahead and just broke this down by daily, weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly. So I went ahead and just added some tasks that I wanted to accomplish daily, weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly. And then in the weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly boxes, I went ahead and added some numbers. So for example, there's 52 weeks out of the year. So I added one through 52 under the weekly box. And essentially like once we accomplish that, like those tasks for that week, I will color in the number of the week it is. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'll show you a little bit later on in the final flip through, you'll see my most updated version of this tracker. So for the weekly box, I have seven tasks listed there and I basically just assigned each task to a day. So for example, Tuesdays are for sweeping, Saturdays are for cleaning the bathrooms, Thursdays are for looking for things to donate. You know, I don't know about y'all, but we have so much clutter sometimes that I just feel like if I designated one full day a week to looking for something to get rid of that day or to donate, that would just help us just get rid of some of this clutter. <laughs> This next spread is my have 10 minutes spread and I saw this idea years ago on Pinterest so if I can find the pin I will be sure to link it down below but I had this spread in my last bullet journal and I actually used it quite often so I um, wanted to go ahead and just put it in this bullet journal as well but essentially this is the page that I go to if I ever like am bored or I'm in between tasks or I just like need something else to do instead of like scrolling on my phone and so I will come here and like you know just set a 10 minute timer and like get something done off this list or maybe even a few things done if I feel like 10 minutes isn't long enough so I have these sections broken down into fitness personal knowledge and bedroom slash bathroom all right I'm gonna stop talking so you guys can enjoy some calligraphy ASMR <laughs>
then for each category, I write down a few different options or tasks that I can do for those 10 minutes. And lastly, I wrote this sentence that says, use the spare moments in your day to accomplish tasks and enjoy the things you want to do instead of thinking of the things that you should do. This have 10 minutes page is a little bit different than my old bullet journal and it's kind of more on the self-care side versus the like house cleaning tracker side, I guess, because um, my old bullet journal, it was more like cleaning and chore tasks that I can get done in 10 minutes but I wanted to include more self-care things and personal growth as well as like some chores under the bedroom bathroom section and here's the final flip through of the pages we set up today here you can see uh, how I put a dot on each week after we finish the cleaning tasks for the weekly and the bi-weekly and then after this month I'll go ahead and put the dot on for the month as well As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.